What's up guys? We recently got one of these Anycubic Photon SLA printers for the shop. Now these printers are great for printing small items with high detail that other printers can't seem to pull off. Now there is a downfall with SLA printing. The resin has a very strong odor and when printing that odor is pushed through the machine out of vent in the back. Now printers like these usually have carbon filters on them that are supposed to help get that smell out of the air before it gets in. But we found that this printer still smells very, very heavily while running in the shop. So we've come up with a solution of a way to solve that issue and we're gonna share it with you today. Stick around. Now before you attempt this project, you're gonna to wanna to visit your local hardware store and pick up a few essential items. We picked up an eight foot duct tube, two hose clamps, and an inline duct fan. Now there is one other item you're gonna need for this project and it's gonna to have to be custom made. We actually printed this off of another 3D printer and what it is, it's an adapter that will adapt a four inch duct tube to the vent on the back of this machine. This is what we're gonna to use to vent all the air and smell out of this printer outside. Now to get the printer itself ready for the adapter, you need to get the Allen wrenches out of the box that came with the printer and go to the vent panel on the back. You're gonna remove the four screws, essentially removing the vent itself. So we can put a replacement on that will allow us to adapt that hose into this machine. Got four screws here you're going to take out. This. Now, this panel is not going to be used for the project, but you will want to hold on to it just in case you ever want to put your printer back up the way it was. Now, as you can see, this panel we printed out here fits exactly in the hole there. All the screw holes will line up. All you're going to do is screw these back on. All four screws locked back in. Just like this. And your adapter is on now. Now it's time to move on to the next step. Now your next step in the process is super simple. All you're going to do is take your hose clamp and put it over your dryer tube just like this. Make sure you get it in one of the full rungs between the two bars. And then you're going to push your dryer tube up onto your adapter. Make sure it's snug on there and connects all the way around so you don't have any leakage. You just want to tighten your hose clamp up. Now you want to tighten it up where you don't have any kind of, it doesn't wiggle around, but you also want to make sure you realize that this is a 3D printed part, so don't tighten it too tight or you could crack that part. I think we're good, it's nice and tight on there, nice and snug, not going to move around. Move on to the next step. Now the next part of this process is going to depend completely on your specific application. Now whether you're going to be venting this out a window, a door, or an actual vent hole in your shop, the distance of how much hose you're going to need is going to depend on where your printer is located and where your vent is located at. Now we don't have a specific location yet of where we're going to be putting this printer, so right now we're going to be setting up a temporary setup just so we can run some tests on the printer itself. So we're going to leave the entire 8 foot length. If you wanted to, you could stretch this hose out take a razor blade or a cutter and just chop into it and cut it to any length you need specifically. Now, you're gonna take this hose clamp just as we did before. You're gonna put it onto the hose, making sure you get it in one of the full rungs. 
Now these vent fans have a specific direction that the air flows out of them. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you pay attention closely to the sticker on your specific vent fan to make sure you get the right direction. You want the air to flow away from your machine, not into your machine. After you figure that out, you're gonna put the vent fan inside your tube. Making sure you get it on there fully. No holds. Just like that. Push it up to the point where your hose clamp is actually on the machine itself. And just like before, you're going to screw that in. Now this one you can make tighter than the 3D printed one because you are attaching this to metal you're not going to bend this as much as you would to 3D print or break it. Now to get that tightened, make sure you look around the hose, make sure you don't have any gaps like this one right here we have that I'll have to go back and fix in just a second and you'll be good to go on this part. Now once you get your vent fan on your duct, make sure that it is solidly on there. You can also go back here and check to make sure on the actual printer in the 3D part here that you have a solid connection and you're going to be ready to print with no fumes. This item right here will go outside the window so the fumes will be pulled out with that fan out to the exterior of your shop. Um, that should clear up most of the smells you get from this machine and should make printing much more enjoyable. If you like videos like this, make sure you check out our other tutorial videos coming up soon on RustyRaptor.com. Also, use the code NEWCUSTOMER for 5% off any items in our shop.